What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round off happened last time, my garrison in Jerusalem managed to mightily hold off the, the attacking Ottoman forces. And um, so what's important to do now is uh, replenish quickly both from recruiting troops in Jerusalem and also resupply them with troops from Cairo. Then push off and capture Damascus while the enemy are weak. And Damascus as a region isn't very wealthy, um, again. Um, but it's what we have to work with on our march into the Middle East. Then my army in Madrid is still wandering its way down to Portugal. And this army, I would like, once they've captured Portugal, is to... I want to ship them down to India. First to capture Ceylon, then to land here and capture Calcutta and Katak. Because um, Calcutta is a, another big city that will be useful for recruiting troops later on. I'm um, still at war with the Mughal Empire. Um, I do have a fleet here being recruited. Which I think... Commercial basin I can recruit. Yeah, so for some reason in this campaign rather... Well, it's because it's different. In my Mexico campaign I can recruit specific Indiamen. But here I cannot, so I would like to recruit just... Uh, Suitable looking ships that you would think have convoy have um uh, supplies and trade on them. Um and yes, so then we also have uh second rate ships of the line being built, and this will be the start of my grand fleet to um hedge any attacks from Great Britain, because as you can see they've got two strong navies. This navy here that does contain second rate ships of the line. And it's a naval hospital, so they have the capability to recruit, uh, to build first-rate frigates. Um, so I'd like to get lime juice, and then get them um, upgrade this to a naval hospital as well to maintain parity. And separation of powers is good. Because I'm still trying to develop my economy. Bordeaux is getting interchangeable parts, which is good for knocking down upkeep and increasing town wealth. But I'm out of money, so I'm going to hit enter and see what the uh, the results of that uh, Ottoman battle was. And also, I've forgotten to completely check my uh, holdings in um, the United States, although I'm pretty sure they're, they're still pretty solid. I mean, except we've given a bunch to um, we've given a bunch to the United uh, to the to Louisiana to. Is a reward for helping me out and to try and make them a bit stronger. Um, then we've also got some armies ready in position to attack Britain. Well, or no, to be in position to defend Britain, I should say. That's probably also that's where more of my armed armies are going to come from. Is I'm going to bring some armies back from the Americas um, into India to expand in that arena to try to gain some early wealth because right now, Pyre, but I don't feel particularly established. I don't feel strong. I feel strung out. Um, ideally I'd like to get to the position where some of my colonies and some of my um, regions become more self-sustaining um, which may or may not happen. So I'd like, I'd like, I'd like generally my the Americas to be able to recruit in enough troops to defend America, the Americas rather than shipping them across the, the, the ocean. To construct useful buildings here has yet to be Elat. Oh, this is in Jerusalem again. So, 22,000. Yep, you're all being replenished. You can get a pottery barn to try to get some sort of wealth out of Jerusalem. Because the So if we introduce tax, then... Well, yeah, they're not worth anything right now. I may as well just let them keep expanding. Let's run this colonial light infantry across to Jerusalem. And do they... No, this, they do like me. Let's do some general investing here, because this will be where the majority of my um, armies will be raised from in the Middle East in this area, I think. Uh, they're pretty happy with me. Religious unrest is not so good, but once I've got my church school being built here, that should calm down. Let's get a water power cloth mill to improve. Well, because economics investing is always a good thing. Good, let's keep them marching on to their objective, and they are recruiting people to stop me. But I am more than happy if I need to to um, just besiege them and wait them out because they don't they will they won't beat me in a pitched battle. New town emerges in Upper Canada. Well, you are crying out for a craft workshop, methinks. 
It's got a few options here. So I can try, well, let's upgrade the commercial basin first if I'm going to try and export goods from these regions because all of these regions, all of these um, fur trapper posts should be serviced by this one port, I believe. Which is all I go for. Water power cloth mill plus 600. It's pretty good. Fur exchange adding me about 40 pelts. Pelts are worth, what, 14? Yeah. The industry's worth more in the long term. This army is is in need of replenishment. Is Boston recruiting troops? Nope. The Oka Territory, they still hate me, I think. So yeah. Minus 14. It'd be minus 10 if I remove that army. Which is unfortunate. Um, but yes. I think I'd like... Next turn, I'm going to spend more. T I'm going to spend some more money recruiting, building up this army, and then I'm going to ship them back across the ocean. Now, lots of upgrades in France, which I could have capitalised on, but now this trading navy is ready to rock and roll. Although, okay, so trade is spice is still the most valuable. Cotton's the most valuable, but I'm f no, to cotton and tobacco are the most valuable. But I'm fairly sure I can't get those. I can get sugar. Is it ivory, ivory, spices? So, go to the spices zone. Although I'm fairly sure this navy will probably be chewed to bits. Based on the uh, experiences I've had in the USA, in my um, Mexico campaign. Cool. Sit and turn. See, because right now I've got commitments all over the shop. I'm unable to properly um, fund any of them in a, in a, in a um, satisfactory way. Things are still quite good. I'm like, and I, if it was to kick off in Europe, then I'd be in real trouble. And I'd prefer that Austrian army to keep going east and keep threatening the Prussians. Because we are at war with the Prussians again, but I'm not going to make peace with them because it's just they've just got Gdansk. So there's no need for me to be worried about them. Oh, did they just capture Konigsberg? Good. Well, that's a problem for Poland. As long as uh, the Prussians' focus maintains or stays eastward, then that's that's good enough for me. Some of the Russians are just are just going to still be the Russians. One thing I think I need to get over, particularly in my campaigns, is I'm obsessed with always sending off full stacks everywhere when it's not necessarily needed. So I might recruit... Well, like one uh, example could be I could recruit a ship in the Mediterranean, sail it to Athens to see what the strength is like, recruit a small army to capture Athens, and then uh, garrison it with troops recruited locally rather than waiting to garrison them myself. But then again, if you have a large army... You can stage a breakout much quicker. Good. Keep going. Keep going and tack Upper Louisiana. Yes, finally. Good old Louisiana. And they keep recruiting ships to just stop off at random points. Just the Mughal Empire. Mughal Empire's going to Mughal. Oh, Genoa is hopefully they go westward. Okay, so Rostock can develop, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Um, key key objective is to build my naval hospital. Then I would like are they are they invading Russia? No, Minsk is Polish territory. They'd like to go down to here. Build these troops. Then ideally recruit a handful more, because I'd like some troops to dump them into Palestine, and uh, to Jerusalem, sorry, because if I move to take Damascus, this army's asking to sweep down and take Jerusalem, so I'd like to move, yeah, put a bit of a garrison for Jerusalem. They here want settlement fortifications, so I don't need to do anything else to that. Let's upgrade the church school. Um, I need to start converting some people. 
Equa Territory, Rhineland, Rhineland, France. We've got some good economic upgrades to do to France. Water powered cloth mill. That's Turin. Oh, Chambry. Plus money to town, plus money to town wealth, but I'd rather build. Upgrade the trade port. Yeah. Upgrade the trade port because Paris is a very, very valuable region, so I'd like that to keep growing. And maybe upgrade this theatre to a pleasure gardens because at least it makes people happy. Well, first I need to go over to the Americas. Oh, yes, and this army down here. Um, so, similarly to the um, North America, or to the um, position I found myself in Jerusalem, I would like to build a garrison here, just a small one, because this region is very, very wealthy, two and a half thousand. And thankfully, the Geno Genoese are keen to keep um, pushing against my enemies, so I'm happy to let them. Chiefly, this army I would like. Oh, can't afford much. So, one union of grenadiers, or. Let's get two units of skirmishes. Yeah, let's get two units of skirmishes for now. Then I want to buff them up and ship them eastwards, and then. No, don't have the money to build a ship. Good, so one turn off of that. You're not really. I should really have been kept more of an eye on you. Let's get Utrecht working on. Oh no, because you, you're low. Right, carcass shot. Get this guy. Uh, research carcass shot so we can build the gunnery school. And then go on try, re try research quick climb shells. Particularly if I want to move into India um, at some point. Right, let's hit end turn again. Oh yes. Uh, maintain siege because I see those mortars. Yes, that army. I'd like to go through the same drill, recruit a small garrison, ship that army to India. Um, so I think I could have. Or do I land another army to strengthen my hold in the Middle East? No, I've got to go, I've got to go for two for India. It's got to be. Yeah, I'll intercept you. Just stop you from being a pain. Because the main problem is I'm not getting enough cash. Invading India would be a good idea because it would get me that cash, but the Mughals have a complete hold on it. Um, so the battles in India will be a brutal and bloody drawn out fair, with which I would probably like quicklime shells. So maybe I deploy one into the Middle East. Maybe one to Athens. Maybe. Oh, hello. I just I didn't see who was being besieged, but someone was. Oh yes, Louisiana, go and take the Iroquois territory. Louisiana Navy being formed, but I don't know how big it is or how impressive. Oh, good, lovely stuff. So Louisiana becoming quite a nice, uh, competent partner. No, Cherokee, Württemberg. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Okay, so firstly, Select hop here, build walls. It's expensive, but um, it means I could build a small garrison and free up this army for war fighting duties. Don't want to invest in here yet. Governor's Palace isn't a priority. The yeah, aircraft been destroyed. Yeah, they've raided my farm, but I've took them out. Intellectual advance, separation of powers. Don't go straight on to that. Instead, go on to... No, you'll go on to punch card looms instead. You go on to uh, military tech. Keep advancing that probably get wedge so I can get lances 
because Lance Cavalry is very good. Fleet arrives. Oh, bit of a frame rate drop there. Okay, take up a trade spot. Although I am, that's they're probably going to have a crack. Third rate ship of the line. What little cash I have, I need to spend it wisely. Now, fundamentally, I do think cloth. Well, the trouble is, you're being exempt from tax, so you're probably not a good idea. Um, Amsterdam. Oh, maybe not yet. You got lots of troubles. Wealthy iron workshop. Good. That's the sort of thing you want to invest in. Ooh, we can also get a wealthy water-powered cloth mill. Good stuff. So now this army can march on. I don't have to move this direction. Let's move them on to Jerusalem. To be honest, it probably would be better if I just hit them first. Oh yeah, they're just a bunch of archers. Punish with whatever I can and lay siege to Damascus next turn. Probably actually moving on. It's too bit of manual reinforcement. I'm trying to look for units that are that can be used to swell the ranks of other fully units. So you will probably degrade their experience. Oh, you can't be merged because you're different experience levels. Seemingly. Oh, it's because they're colonial line and their line infantry. I see. Merge them together, then run that unit back. And that leaves me with two free spots to upgrade with two units of line infantry. Good stuff. Uh, Toulouse has been developed. I'm probably okay for happiness for now, I think. I can still upgrade this eventually. And I can upgrade you as well. Oh no, happiness might be good. No, and I can upgrade you as well. So I've got two two happiness buildings I can, I can upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade this guy to a craft workshop. Yeah, it goes the Spanish who are currently being a very, very strong ally for me. They've got strong navies out, they're protecting my ships, or protecting the uh, trade lanes. Let's see where the Ottomans go. No, do not try and um, intercept. Same again. So they've created a new stack. Uh, oh. I want to withdraw all these guys. Good. So they've left me Jerusalem and my troops. Well, yeah, they've left me. They've uh, yeah, they've left me open, left uh, Jerusalem open. All of those troops will fall back. Not Jerusalem. Sorry, they've left uh, uh, Palestine. No, they. I've defended Palestine. Oh, I can't remember. They've left one of the cities open. The others my troops can fall back into and they can be uh, buffed or boosted by troops from um, Egypt. Mughals still being the Mughals. So the Genoese are the ones to watch out for. If they turned on me, then I think it wouldn't be too bad. There is a port in this region oh, yes. that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port. Don't bother about them yet. So firstly, 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 to lose. Craft workshop, and then let's upgrade this boardy house to offset any unhappiness that will kick off. New port emerges in Hanover. Good. Let's make it trade again. Kidoki, so let's fix you as well. Ok, 
Okay, so. Merge, merge. Send these troops up to garrison. Let's replenish and then let's. Oh, there you go. Let's just do another set of sort of upgrading. And then they will help auto capture Damascus then. And let's do some destruction. Because to be honest, I'm fairly sure I can. I don't know. Definitely want to destroy the Pasha's Palace and the School of Poetry, but I'm fairly sure I can upgrade these military buildings. Like. Oh, I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, okay, construction. So, may as well upgrade you again. So, this way, my missionary can go straight to Jerusalem. Let's upgrade the pottery workshop. Don't worry about the Turkish bath because they're still happy. And they're going to be. Oh, man. Religious unrest is going down. Okay, so let's recruit two units of grenadiers, two units of howitzers, two more units of line. And I, me I now immediately said, oh, I need to stop building full stacks. Well, when I've got the spare capacity to build stacks, then I will. <laughs> Successful missions all around the shop. Syria's been captured. To be honest, I might see if I can get peace of them. Peace and trade. Peace, trade, threaten. Nope. Well, they were hostile anyway. Russia's hostile, but I don't see why we should. Let's trade. Um, I'll do that. I don't mind giving you socket bayonets. I need money. That's what I need more than anything. Peace and trade with the Prussians. You want coke furnace? Sure. You can't have more than a handful of um, industrial buildings anyway. Oh well, yeah, you, may, you might even have one. Yeah, you've got a water power cloth mill and a weaver's cottage. If that's even yours. It's probably Russian. No, it is yours. Yeah, so they've traded me for a tech that they can't use. Sounds like a win to me, although they're probably about to be destroyed anyway. 26,000 next turn. Good. Not getting it's time to get some uh, solid trade bonuses coming my way. And then let's upgrade. Don't need to upgrade that happiness building yet. You're still under siege. And you can wait some more attrition. So these guys can. Well, they just move on and attack them. Just quickly auto resolve that fight because it wouldn't have been. Oh, look at that. Okay. Army minus the guns. Finish them off. Spend my money. Replenishing. Replenishing. And. Oh, you're still in good shape. Fix the logging camp. Now let's see if this is where uh, um, uh, Genoa perform their ultimate treachery. Because to be honest, if they did do it, I wouldn't even be angry. I'd be quite impressed that the AI had that level of thinking. Okay, in turn. Yes, I could free up an army from a. I could free up in the short. Term, I can free up um, the army attacking Lisbon. Well, not well, medium term, I suppose. No, it would be short term, relatively. Um, the army links heated to Lisbon, the army on the south coast of the US, an army in America. So that's three armies. Then in one extra, a bit longer term, I can get the Iroquois as well. Demand that, demand that. Oh man, they have, they have nothing to offer me. Can't demand anything. They don't have anything. I can't even. 
I'd, see, I'd, I would I would try and make them my protector, but it's not letting me. So they have laid siege, and they have one artillery piece and a bunch of skirmishes. Okay, let's do this. It's gonna be it might be a bit rough and ready, but boy, I'm gonna oh, do I fight it this turn or not? Yeah, let's fight it this part. Those line infantry are gonna be abs this because I've just not got many troops. So weirdly, I might end up being good. Might even be better fighting the walls and just defending the courtyard. Weirdly. The key. The enemy will try to smash their way in with siege equipment. Use your heaviest troops to defend any So they come from walls. over. Okay. Let's stop you. Obviously, my general was with my weakest unit. Okay, so let's do this for now. They're all over there. I think this is doable. Just need my reinforcements to enter the field rapidly. And they will be exhausted. I'm going to make them run. But c'est la vie. So they're focusing on this piece of real estate. To be honest, weirdly, the best spot for them might be this flank and push up the wall. Let's make this unit get inside. Let's make these guys get in as well. To be honest, I think probably what I want to do is do this actually. Because I don't want to lose the gate to a quick capture. And then these guys have to cover the wall themselves. To be honest, I might divert both of these guys to here. Because they can, both of them, outgun these Janissary units. Let's hope these archers aren't very good at. I think I'm probably gonna have to get my mission, my um, citizenry on the walls, regardless. Let's move them up immediately to provide fire. Good, so this flank has been covered. Let's get these guys to clear the right flank. Let's 
counting on these archers being a bit pants. These are just Kurdish hillmen, so if they do get the charge off on me, that's okay. General's been killed. Run them there to fire into the into the lower section of the wall, I suppose. Run these guys in as a last not as a last ditch defence, but get them in. See if these guys can man the walls. Good. And these guys should be blasting. These guys bugged on the walls, on the gates. Yep, some of them are. They may have to charge the unit of desert warriors. To be honest, I think I'm going to have to do a bit of across the board, just attacking, just getting into combat at the bottom of the walls. Okay, so they've somehow managed to get in, so... Charge with this unit, I suppose. Run this unit of line infantry back down off the wall. No, actually, let's get them charging along the wall and hit this unit of uh, Janissaries. Charge my militiamen into these Armenian archers. Bashi bazooks, Armenian archers, and camels. Come on, get stuck in. You need to kill these guys so I can get these guys to spin around and hit the Bashi Bazooks. Although they're wavering already, which is excellent news.
If I can make this unit of archers... Oh god, that's a lot of troops trying to get up there. This battle is far from over. Well, that's definitely done it. Yeah, that's fair enough. That weak unit's going to route. Let's get my guys back inside the walls. Force the camels into a bottleneck. Well, to be honest, if you're going to... You run there form square, hold them back. General has unfortunately died because they've attacked this fort. So send my, well no, don't send my armed citizenry in, because I've made, yeah, <laughs> let's seemingly do that, made my, don't do that, so instead run to the flank. Yeah, fortunately these guys might route because they're being well see these guys bugged on the gate that they are and these guys are being chopped to bits because these guys are bugged on the gate final charge of the French see what happens. I don't like my odds here. But if there's one thing, well, I don't know. They're all they're all compressed in one area. Okay, so it's a wavering fight. Who's going to waver? Who's going to break first? Stuck in. That is a potentially game changing deal. Winning that combat. Okay, so you need to get into roughly the right position and hit square formation. Halt. You don't have enough to stop them, but you need to get involved anyway. kill these camels. It's easier said than done because they seem to be very very good. So jump on them while they're trapped in a corner. Oh yes and for once we'll have them in a... we're not trapped exactly but they cannot move backwards. Some of them are stuck outside. Desert warriors are stuck outside. Oh, 
The militia are doing a heroic effort trying to hold the walls. If I could finish off some of these camels, that would be excellent. If we could make them route, that would be perfect. Okay, so let's reform my line with what meagre troops I have left. Then let's get into a firing position on these desert warriors. Come on, fire by rank. You don't can't let me down now. Okay, so this is where the remnants of the Ottomans can come in. So on them all, fire it will off. The Janissaries are abandoning the walls for some reason. Still, my militia will try to kill them. Okay, so let's speed up time a little bit. Because these guys are forming up for some reason. I'd like it to be for them to capture this gate and then for them, for them to run through, but... Four militiamen hold the wall. Halt. May as well just keep attacking. Attack the archers, because you can reliably get kills. Oh no, they lost a man. <laughs> heroic militiamen. What I want is these mercenaries, janissaries, to run through the breach. There you go. Pour fire into those Janissaries. Hell, my armed populace too. My guys have plenty of ammunition left. Good, they're broken. These archers want to try. Well, they will, because there's three militiamen holding the walls, so I'm going to speed up time. One militiaman, and they have fallen, and we have lost the gate. So hopefully. There you go. They're going to climb down the walls and try enter the gate. That's the hope. Into the gate or through the breach, either one is 
please pleasing. Through the gate it is, monsieur. Then the mighty 83rd Regiment of Foot will be more than happy to pour fire into that gatehouse. I don't seem to be sure. Make the choice for them, sir. Move up. And pour fire into the gatehouse. See, they are steady, but they are getting picked apart by volley after volley. And like I said, this, this unit, the 83rd, they've got plenty of ammunition. They started off with 225 troops, and they now live with 56. So, they have many a bullet left. So they are routing. The only thing left are the cannons. Nope, they've come back. Let's spin the flank around as we know where they're going to come from. Then once they move in... Sixty men, wavering troops, as the volleys thrash down. That's three killed. One, they are routing. Let's make sure they route a significant distance before I do this. Ah, my militiamen, my uh, uh, people's troops have ran out of ammunition, so they are the perfect troops try charge the guns to cause them to rout. Although these are far like armed citizenry, so they're not great, so they could well lose too. Oh yes, and they're trying to, to move, to retreat their guns. And they will be hit by my troops and they'll probably, should break. <sighs> that, guys. A number of times I thought, well I've won it. No, I've lost it. No, I've won it. No, I've lost it. It was that battle against the uh, the camels at the gatehouse, I think, that did it. Okay, guys, I'm just going to hit or resolve on this one, because we're going to lose it. <laughs> just gone through one hell of a fight to capture it. <laughs> I was not about to fight it again. I know it seems like all for nothing, but you know, that army that's just attacked Jerusalem is going to spin right around and take it back. Because... God, guys, that battle was draining. <laughs> if he didn't have another stack, or you know, small force to to repel me, then I would have fought. Then I would have been fine. But you know, this is how uh, Empire Total War goes. The Genoese are still on the move. It would be interesting to see where that stack goes. Like I said, hopefully it doesn't go towards me. Okay, so I have to back up Louisiana, enter war on the side of Ally. There is a port in this region. Poland's Does declared war on me. Very well. The fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. Okay, so then let's make. March these chaps out. Yeah, you hate me, but not till I was about to say not till you, uh, not till I tax free you, but apparently not. Right. Start recruiting a serious amount of line infantry. And you. I suspect they will probably try to head towards um, Cairo. Milord. 
No, they don't have anyone of note. Oh, whew. Try over there. Very poor. But here, I have a coaching in. King dies. Louis XV died. Army destroyed there. That is true. But now we have Louis the Sixteenth, who is a beast. Plus twelve percent per diplomatic relations. I say lots of investment in Egypt, and I do. I would get a fairly reasonable garrison actually to deal with this bunch of ch bunch of chaps. Let's keep expanding my strength in Cairo. Let's get this guy. Over, because this my school will take care of the um, converting Cairo. They can start converting Palestine to like me even more. I can tax free them. Region lost, Palestine, but captured back. Yep, Syria hates me, but they're about to get a lot of investment and some troops to back them up. Trading port, local fishery. Let's do local fishery as a cheap upgrade to get some money. War of Succession. This nation disputes your claim to the throne. You have no choice but to fight for your birthright. Very well. But yes, I'm backed up by Austria, so Poland will get chewed up. It's unfortunate I'm still allied with Austria. I'm still allied with... Oh, no! Oh, that set the cat amongst the pigeons. Well, let's get this guy back double quick to Hanover. Let's go back to here where I've spent a load of money. Cancelling all these. And you. So Strasbourg is gone. They will be gone immediately. Uh, Hanover can become a new army. Got Lancers in Cologne, but they will probably be attacked also. Okay, so let's get some, well, let's get a French, uh, a Parisian army on the go. 24th, 24th, 34th, 10th, 81st. So very elite I know it's regular. No, they are elite line infantry. But yes, I want elite infantry because I'm trying to defeat some betraying people. Maybe the Austrians might come in. Let's try to get away with just demolishing the fortifications. And then you over here. Crew general and recruit as much line as you can. Then in the Netherlands, let's get... Oh, no, I need some artillery, don't I, really? I have none. And each of these are probably well-equipped. No, they have none. Granted, they're lots of militia, but they can spread out and capture lots of territory very quickly. So instead of building infantry in Hanover... I can't... I've not got, I've not got a good uh, cannon foundry in there... So let's not spend money here. Instead, let's unfortunately buy demi cannons in Amsterdam. Because I'm assuming a stack will go here and a stack will go up to Cologne. This could well be the army that tries to uh, secure Cologne. New national leader, Louis XVI, my beast, so it doesn't matter. But yes, the immediate focus is oh I can reach, okay I can get these guys into the mix as well. So let's get them into France. They're not brilliant for my needs. But it does mean I've got a solid block of infantry. So instead let's go for some not Swiss guards. French Duranier. Just to get four units of them, two units of guns, and a French Mousquetaire de la Garde. Carbines. Don't want carbines. A unit of crossiers. Oh, well, actually, in place of crossiers, 
No, I, was, I was wondering if I could get within in place of crossiers, could I get an extra units of line infantry? But no, let's get two units of grenadiers. Let's get a unit of Swiss line. Good. And this will be the core of my main army. And I cannot recruit a general, but that is a real big problem. And I'm right at the end of the part, but what I want to do is hit and turn and see what happens. If if something else happens, we'll unfortunately not see what Württemberg do. Um, but maybe we'll see what they do. Um, but yes, so Württemberg stabs me in the back to, produce, to fight on the side of Poland that has one damn regent remaining. No, I'm not going to give you tech. So Bernobes threat to the south, which is immediate and glaring and a massive problem. Three full stacks of troops. If I had, to be honest, if I had one decent stack of, you know, infantry backed up with artillery, then that would be one thing. But I don't. I just don't. Hmm. Help me, Louisiana. You're my only hope. Oh, good. They are pushing into Cherokee territory. Good. Good. I'm glad. The Württemberg... Okay, ah, the, 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 po, the Portuguese are selling forth. So unfortunately, guys, you will not see this. You will not see what uh, snake pit has been unveiled by the Württembergarians or whatever I would call them. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, really long part, and I will see you next time.